morning guys it is day two in edinburgh and honestly i feel like on the last one but maybe last night i've been talking to marcus about it i've got like major homesickness like i've got i just want to get home <laughs> i don't know what it is because i'm having a nice time but i just feel really homesick so we have tried to speak to the hotel to see if we can like maybe save the second day for another like you know month further down the line but we've not heard back yet so i don't think it's looking good <laughs> I think it might be. We're having a really nice time, but I just feel really homesick. And I think like it's anxiety of bringing me around for the first time, even though it's going well. Huh? Yeah, now the weather's gone a bit rubbish too, which we knew it was going to anyway. But I think if you've got no type of feelings, you can handle stuff like that. But then start to feel. And they look nice, those little. Um, but yeah, if you feel a little bit rubbish, then obviously having rubbish weather doesn't necessarily help. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and make the most of it today. Not heard about the hotel yet, so we've been wanting to get breakfast. Um, and Mia's having a nap, so Marcus and I can try and eat as much as we can and we'll wake up and feed her. Luckily, Marcus took a reservation for the day, we were running late. Then we came in and we, very last minute, got a table by the skin of our teeth because they were like fully booked up. And um, so yeah, and then we'll try and enjoy breakfast. <laughs> Marcus went for a full vegetarian breakfast and I went for a salmon bagel and we've ordered some pancakes to share as well. Peach pancakes which look so good. What's this park called? I don't even know, do I? Princess Street Park, I think. Oh, is Prince. it? Princess Street, yeah, it's gonna look like a vampire, but look at how like cool this is. Oh, there we go. Like, just uh, is that some part of the castle? Is it, Marcus? Yeah, that is. is it just like in the fog? It just looks so beautiful. But yeah, we've decided to come. For, we've been for breakfast, obviously. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but the place we went for breakfast was called what, Marcus? Oh, this wasn't something we planned on doing but Marcus and I have had a chat and because I feel so homesick we're cutting the trip short. You said that like you were going to say something proper deep then. Well it is a little bit deep Mark because I just feel well, like, like we about I don't want the pressure. Something. It's not something we wanted to do but me and Marcus had a long hard talk about it and decided to give me a room. <laughs> no we just we're just going to go home. <laughs> what do you do? No but my, my point is that I don't want to come onto the vlog and pretend like I'm having the time for life. It has been lovely, but I just feel like I need to get home. Hi! We just woke up from the nap. That's a mum. I've got the pram. Yeah. You're my mum. Yeah. Good morning. She's just had such a long nap. We actually managed to eat breakfast in peace. You've been asleep the whole time. Yeah. Mm, you okay? We've got you some food, don't worry. You okay? Let you wake up a minute. Okay, meme? You okay? Um. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna eat you. That's where we get the smile from. <laughs> We're supposed to hold hands all the time. Hey, gorgeous girl. We're just making our way back to the hotel. Finish up on the bits I need to do before we head out. 
Okay guys, so it is Monday morning. I think the last time I picked up this vlog was when we were in Edinburgh and we ended up coming back early and then since then I've just been working and mummying, <laughs> it's what I'll call it, cleaning and just sort of cracking on with life really. So today I just thought I'd pick up the vlog again and just sort of, yeah, carry on. But I've got, I've just had, I've been awake since five, so I'm starting to get into my routine of waking up early again, which I love. Weirdly enough, my Marcus finds this really weird about me. I find it easier to wake up when it's dark outside rather than when it's light. I don't know why. But anyways, so I've been up, but I've just had, you know one of them sleeps where you go to sleep and you feel like your head's only just hit the pillow? Like, it's not like I was awake, I was asleep, but then I, like my alarm's just gone off and it's morning again. It's been one of those nights and I just feel like I've had... I know, I know I've slept, but I feel like I just hit my head on the pillow and that's it, I'm awake again, which is insane. I just had like insane knots in my stomach since I've woke up. We've got a meeting, I'm going to drop Mia off to my sister and Mark and I have got a meeting we're going to and I'm just very nervous about it. And one of them typical things where I can't indulge on what it's for, but it's just giving me absolute knots in my stomach and I'm just very nervous about it. Mark says I shouldn't be nervous. I don't think I should be either. Yeah, it's just very nerve-wracking and I almost feel like sometimes when something like exciting happens to me, I get like imposter syndrome. <laughs> I was like, why is this happening to me? <laughs> yeah, it's something that I'm very excited about. I don't know whether it'll happen. And this is very annoying for you. I know it's annoying because I get annoyed when I watch people and they say, oh, something's going on, but I can't tell you yet. And this is exactly what I'm doing. But yeah, it just makes me very nervous. Very, very nervous. I mean, I, I just need to concentrate solely on that. So we're probably going to leave in about... We're going to leave in about 40 minutes. And before we do that, I've got some final work that I need to submit this morning. So I'm going to quickly try and finish up on that. Submit that so then I can just concentrate on the one thing. My mind's not everywhere else. I've just submitted one piece of work. I need, now I need to submit the second. And then, then I'm sort of done, like... It, in terms of thinking of deadlines for the day as far as I know I mean in this type of work anything can come up last minute but as far as I know that should be it and then I can concentrate on my meeting and calming myself the hell down guys meeting's done and we're just having a quick well I'm having a quick bite to eat Mark's having a coffee this is the hi jam. guys I know I'm so sick of this album Drake's album is not good his new one lot, this is all uh, listen to it before you started vlogging vlog when we get give there. me a minute no oh you cow like a full on <laughs> You're a cow. Shut up then, talk whilst I'm putting ticket in. Shut up! Right, so we are done in town now. I just got a quick bite to eat, even though I didn't want it when Marcus forced me to get a bagel. I did not want it, but now I've had it. And he had a coffee, and now we're gonna head out. Whilst we are child free, because we haven't in a while, we just thought we might quickly go sneak into a movie, because my sister said that she wanted to keep me at her house because the girls have missed her and then they'll get to see her after school and she said then she'll drop her off to us later so I like that's perfect we'll go ahead and have a child free afternoon and we're gonna nip and I've just booked us to go see Candyman and yeah I, have we seen the oh they did two Candymans they did another one recently didn't they well not recent recent but I swear they did no I could have sworn that did. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go watch that. Hello, my loves. Wow, it is dark in my bedroom. We left this morning. I just because I get up at five doesn't mean that the family does. So I don't get to set the bed up. But we left this morning. And obviously, hi, baby. Neither one of us had set the bed up. So I'm gonna set the bed up. I just picked up a new jumper that I bought from Zara. Just thought I'd try it on and just thought. Can you remember before we went away on our anniversary? I did a NAKD like shop and I'm gonna send a couple of things back but I just thought I'd show you them before I send them back anyway and just try them on in this vlog for you because in case you're looking for a few bits and you might like them so I'm gonna quickly set the bed up and I'll see you in a sec before Mia gets back the first thing I hold on drop Grace and Frankie on Sorry guys, I don't know if you can see me that well, but I picked up this knit jumper from Zara. We only had it in a medium to large, I thought that's fine, so it'll be quite oversized. Let me see if I can show you better in the... So, it's like a, I don't want to say fisherman's knit, because it's not, but yeah, it's like a different type of knitted material, 
but I do really like the material that it is and as you can see it's got quite a raw hem on the neck but then the bottom isn't it's got a split down the side and I just think with like some leggings this could look like you know fitted leather leggings I think would look quite nice but I don't really wear them but I did see I'm pretty sure I saw someone wear it on Instagram I was like oh that looks nice yeah I picked this up and just think it's a very nice sort of casual jumper I don't necessarily think I mean, if I didn't have the black socks on, I had shoes on, I think it could go with, like, this style of jean. But, for the most part, I think more of a fitted bottom would look quite nice with it. I mean, it looks quite nice with jeans and maybe some Doc Martens. Give you that, like, you know, Sunday, we're going out for brunch, we're going out for breakfast kind of vibes where you want to be cosy. I think that's the kind of vibes it gives me. You, I'm not 100% sold on it to be honest with you, but it's all right. Maybe I need to style it with different jeans. Not fully liking the vibe. There's a pair of jeans that I'm definitely sending back from NAKD because they just don't fit. And I really liked these coats. I loved the way they were styled up on the website. But in reality, and I think I got them in a, a small maybe, they are very, very big. Or to, size 36. I don't know what that would be if it's small or medium but I did like these are proper winter coats I love an oversized coat but I'm thinking like this one's a bit too oversized I mean I love the whole vibe of it it's like a almost like a dressing gown <laughs> it gives you dressing gown vibes but it's just too big like like I said I like oversized but this is very very oversized and I like the whole idea of being able to tie it there, but I don't know, maybe I've just not put it together with an outfit nice enough or maybe I need like a size or two smaller. Now, I loved the way this was also styled up on the website, however, in reality, it's a bit too red for me, like the tone of it is too warm. I didn't think it'd be this warm, like as you can see on camera, how bright I mean, it's a little bit more dull than what it is on camera. But I just think it is too... I like cooler tones, like the cooler browns, beiges. I mean, it's like a burgundy, so it was always going to be a little bit warmer. Let me show you. Coat number two. This is like a lighter material, so you can definitely wear this more autumn to winter and layer it up. I mean, I love the fit. I love the cut of it. I mean, I need, definitely need a couple of sizes smaller because this one's really, really big as well. I like, it's got the slit there and I love the length of it. It's got pockets. Love everything about it. But it's just the sizing's off, I think. It's just too... I mean, I love my oversized stuff. You guys know I do. But this is just too oversized. And plus, I think the colour's too warm for me. I'm not going to be wearing any of this, but just in case any of you guys are looking for coats and this is your vibe, then yeah, they're available on NAKD. Where is it? Ah, Where mama. is it? Hi! Take Boba out. Oh no, who gave her to me? Take Boba out, give a kiss. No, they didn't. Come here. I'm not even Look joking now, like, if you would have said vlogging, I'm not yeah. even really shitting you. I was looking at the side of me, you do any time. <laughs> I've stood near the entire time. Oh, Papa's waiting by the door for you. You smell like your Harlow's house. Hi! I can't believe they gave her a dummy. Mia is off a dummy now and she's not had one for the oh. longest time. I even told my sister, she, oh, where, where'd she even get a dummy from? It she don't have any babies in the house. It must be the one that I think Kieran bought or something. Oh yeah, because she thought she was teething. Oh, let's take your shoes off, baby. <laughs> Hi! Are you okay? Mimi? Did you miss us? She bless her. She was, when we FaceTimed my sister to see how she was when we'd left our meeting. She was crying when she saw us. Do you want to put TV on? So yeah, I was literally just about to get changed out this top and then Marcus is like, Schemes is home! Schemes is home! Give me a kissy. Give mama a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do mm -hmm. <laughs> Say hi! We used to do hi! I know, she's hypnotised by Cocomel and her toys. We bumped into two really nice ladies in the shopping centre as well said hi. They're like, oh, we watch your vlogs. It's like, thanks. I'm always surprised when you guys meet us and... You want bubbles? Yeah. I was always surprised when you guys meet us and say you watch the vlogs. Yeah, we can't do too much because we don't want all the bubbles in the house. Oh, no, what's happening? Oh, yeah. 
Whoa! You okay? <laughs> you wanted to come in here. So I did something. Mia has got well, it's not a big girl step because oh my god, it's so blurry. Sorry, we should have done this a long time ago. I don't know how we lived without one, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the whole process of me getting Mia a high chair. I've been looking high and low for a high chair, and no, no, I don't need you to mop up. Thank you, baby. Thank you. No need for that. So I've been looking high and low for a high chair. Either they were ugly, too expensive, didn't fold, or they had they weren't the right ones. So eventually, I went. Do you want a snack? Do you want a snack? Yeah. Come on. Let's put me there. So eventually, I went for an IKEA high chair. I tell you why. We were just at our wits' end. When we fed her, she would be all over the shop and be everywhere. And we just wanted her to sit down and have her meals in one spot. And honestly, it's been a messy process, but it's been a brilliant process because it means Marcus and I can eat in peace. She's not running around getting mess everywhere. I put a mat underneath her so she doesn't get anything on the carpet, and it's just worked so beautifully. And the IKEA chair was literally 12 pounds. Yes, it doesn't fold. Yes, it's not the prettiest, but it's doing the job. And I also love the fact, <laughs> I think she went online, I was like, yes guys, I could probably get an Ikea chair, and I know people do them up, but I'm not doing that because it turns like a 12 pound chair into like a 60 pound chair. And that's exactly what I've done is I've gone ahead and ordered her all these bits for her new chair. <laughs> so I ordered her a footrest from Amazon. I ordered her a placemat. I can't remember what the place is called. But when I decorate her IKEA chair, I'll show you. Um, and I ordered her a placemat, a cushion cover and some leg wraps. So, and that literally did cost me about 60 quid as well. <laughs> and I gave into it. But to be fair, it's been working out beautifully. I know it doesn't fold up, but it's perfectly fine in the kitchen corner. There's so chances of her actually drinking this as well and not just making a mess. Huh? I've got some washing up to do. Hung my washing out in the sunroom yesterday. It'll not be dry. I'm gonna have to go put the heater on right now. But, the whole reason I came in here, I ended up ordering her leg rest off Amazon because it came the next day. So you can actually get IKEA like accessories on Amazon. I think they cost you a lot. Co the, the, the leg rest was the cheaper one that I found online, but like the IKEA high chairs, they charge more for it on Amazon. So if you can just nip down to an IKEA, do that. Ooh, look at this. We've got your high chair foot rest. It looks pretty straightforward enough. So I'm gonna pop this on now. This one actually, if you wanted to, you could get this engraved with their names on it, but I wasn't too fussed on doing that. Um, because sure enough, once Mia's done with this high chair, if you have another child, there's no point getting her name on it. So, guys, I've not read the instructions, but I assumed it was just two at the bottom, one at the top. Seems to be sturdy enough. You're in your high chair like a big girl, your crazy hair. But honestly, it's just been so much better just having her here in the morning, giving her breakfast, she can make a mess. If we go have dinner in the other room, put the mat down that I've had for her since she was a baby, she can make a mess on that. Obviously, we aim not to make a mess, thank you, but it, of course it happens. This is just too precious not to get. We've got a little gamer in the house, she's got a papa's headset on and his remote. <laughs> Hello, my loves. It is quarter to one i have been up since 5 a.m i was going to pick up the vlog camera then but then i just thought i need to crack on with what i'm doing so i've been working this morning hold on sorry for the bad lighting i'm just trying to sort some bits out so i've been working this morning got my work done and we are about to head out into manchester I mean, I'm not going for any particular reason. Marcus is going for his own bits. Um, and I'm just sort of tagging along. But part of me does not want to go because I think it's raining outside. Can I be bothered? But then I'm like, mm, I'm not doing anything else. And I have finished work for the day, so should I go? But I'm still umming and ahhing about it. I kind of feel like having one of them rainy days at home. So... I mean, I have about 15 minutes to decide. Mia's having a nap. And then my other fear is taking her and her falling asleep 
on the way back like if she falls asleep whilst we're driving back then she'll not fall asleep later so that's like a little hi Alaska so that's like a little fear that I have so yeah in a bit of a dilemma as to your yeah, baby girl what to do and yeah oh I received a well not a I received the chair that I ordered for that corner there from Donnell this morning and I unwrapped it and the legs cracked so now I have to like sort out a return for it um, and see if they can send me a replacement but the box is huge so that's just going to be taking room in the house now until I get that sorted and I actually have so many returns I need to sort out and I keep saying to Marcus every day you guys know what I'm like with my returns Marcus make sure I sit down and sort my returns out and then he doesn't do that so then they'll never get done but anyways so we're in Manchester made it to Manchester and somehow I found myself in home sense but it's my sister's yeah. birthday tomorrow and we're both home sense obsessed so I don't know if to get her a voucher or try and pick something out so I'm gonna see even my phone isn't mine these days so guys I've just been to the Apple store <coughs> whilst waiting for Marcus because last night Mia tugged on my MacBook charger and it's not worked and I don't know if maybe we just didn't plug it back in properly because I've just taken my charger into Apple and it's working so I didn't buy another one I'm hoping she's not messed up the port on my laptop because you will not be seeing this vlog then which is very very annoying um, but yeah just waiting for Marcus to finish his haircut it feels like it's been a while and also Mia has held hostage right now of my phone so I also don't even have my own phone because you hear Paul for Melon um, but yeah I'm hoping that the charger works when we get home and we just not plug it in properly but we'll see and I'll do a quick OOTD if you ask me in this mirror I've got my docks on I've got this old dress from Zara and a dress and my NAKD feather jacket <laughs> And this is why we don't get anywhere. Come on, crazy girl. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you walking like that? Ooh. Hi, guys. In a weird spot. Mia's, it's like 10 pm. Mia's not asleep because my parents randomly turned up. So, yeah, my parents randomly turned up, completely foiled my plans on how I wanted to end this vlog and foiled my daughter's sleeping plans as well. So she should be absolutely shattered by now, ready for bed, but as you can see, she has no intention to do so. But I'm sorry, today did not go how I wanted it to, and I didn't show you much, I'm a rubbish, rubbish vlogger. <laughs> but I'm so, so sorry, here we are with an excuse. Your grandpa? to explain huh? are they the ones to blame not explain blame Hi. I was gonna vlog with you tonight and here's my excuse my parents literally just opened the door I absolutely crapped myself when I heard the door open and just walked in now luckily we were back from Manchester like we how long were we back from Manchester like 15 10 15 minutes they walked in I didn't even call, uh, so they're very lucky that we I were know, at home. Sometimes, honestly, I wish they come at some point where we're not in to be learning. <laughs> honestly, I just can't even. I don't know. They must be okay with us not being at home and just randomly turned up. But anyways, I mean, right. The only person in the world as well that had a three-course meal that was cornetto, Asian food. <laughs> And then pancakes, it started as a cornetto. Yeah, my dad comes in and goes, I'm gonna have some food. I was like, Yeah, we'll have some food. And then got a cornetto for his starter. Mia, stop it. Right, okay, as you can see, this is <laughs> crazy time right now. You'd get this one to bed, and I'm so sorry for the rubbish end to this vlog. But I hope you're all well. Uh, hope you're all well, and I'll catch you soon. Bye, Dubai. Bye. Oh, by the way, my sister gave her a dummy. After I got off the dummy, my sister gave one yesterday. That's the situation there. We need to now hide it tonight so she doesn't look for it tomorrow.